in there. One, two. Well, I would have been with the rest of you and my head would have never gone up. And, um, you know, you're in a great time of your life. You're in a time of your life where you're starting to figure out who you are and starting to think about what you might do with your life. And some of you might be crazy great students, and some of you might be okay and mediocre students, and some of you might even be poor students. And the reason I share that with you is I was an incredibly poor student in high school. And one of the great things about this land that we live in and having people around you that you get second chances. If you persevere, if you persevere, if you persevere, don't quit. Hang in there. Stay true to yourself and you'll be amazed at what will happen. Stay true to yourself. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. Do the right thing. And you'll be amazed at what will happen in your life. Because I can tell you, standing here as a 60-year-old old man, to everybody probably in this room, that my life's been an incredible journey. And I never dreamed or thought that I would be in politics or become a mayor. I never dreamed or thought that I would become a successful business person. I never thought any of those things when I was your age. So I tell you that, is that life is full of possibilities. And if you hang in there, you keep pushing. You keep doing the right thing. And sometimes it seems like a daunting task and that you'll never make it. But I promise you, if you keep hanging in there, if you keep persevering, you keep doing the right thing, it will work out for you. And life's a wonderful journey. So I look forward to the, when one of you will be up here doing this to a group of students just like yourselves, 42 years from now, or 43 years from now, one of you will be doing the same thing that I'm doing today. And you'll look back and say, man, I had a great life. And the man has been a life of contribution. And so that's my request of each of you. Have a life of contribution. Have a life of making a difference. Make a difference to your friends, your families, your neighbors, and to the people that you don't know. Because people need you. So I'm here today to read a proclamation. Mr. Campbell, thank you for having me today. It's such a blessing to be here at Centennial High School. We're so proud that Centennial High School is in Roswell, and I look forward to coming and seeing y'all a lot in the next four years. Thank you for allowing me to be with you today, and I'd like to read a proclamation. And forgive me, I'm borrowing some eyeglasses because I wasn't smart enough to bring some myself, so I hope I don't stumble through this. Proclamation Office of the Mayor. Centennial High School's Career and Technical Education Week. Whereas in 1997, Centennial High School opened its doors to faculty and students and a career and technical education department was formed. Today, the CTE department is comprised of eight program areas with 15 faculty and staff and over a thousand students. Whereas Centennial High School's Career and Technical Education Department is proud of a student participation in the, organization, in the organization such as Future Business Leaders of America, Skills USA, Junior ROTC, and Health Occupation Student Association, and the competitions and awards earned at the local, state, and national levels. Whereas career and technical, technical education increases graduation rates and improves academic performance through meaningful learning experiences, thus improving the quality of their education, engaging students, preparing them for careers and post-secondary options, and giving all students leadership opportunities in their fields and in their communities through career technical student organizations. Each year, students can gain industry credentials in every program area. Whereas the ever-increasing cooperative efforts of career and technical educators with business and industry stimulate the growth and vitality of our local economy and that of the entire nation by preparing graduates in the career fields of business, computer science, law, healthcare science, audio video technology, engineering food science, and our military. And whereas Centennial's High School Career and Technical Education Department has designated February 22nd 
through 25th, 2022, as Career and Technical Education Anniversary Week. Now, therefore, I, Kurt M. Wilson, Mayor of Roswell, do, do hereby proclaim February 22nd through 25, 2022, as Centennial High School's Career and Technical Education Week, and encourage all of our citizens to support our students in their mission to become productive and essential employers and employees in the business community and workforce. Congratulations, Centennial. Thanks for having us this morning.